Hello everyone, Sapphire here, and I want to welcome each and every one of you to my Bronze to Diamond series. This is the second episode, and I am playing Garen in the top lane against Akali. The elo right now is Silver 1 to Gold 4-ish, I believe. I am also recording my voice over this because I didn't do this live. So I will actually be able to give my inputs on what I could have done better. Furthermore, we are into a Kali top. And I wasn't too familiar with this matchup going into it. But I do know a Kali is very strong in the early game. So I just, you want, you want to trade with her. And you don't want to all in her. You, you want to little her health down as Garen. And then Akali, she wants to try to kill you and snowball that lead over you. Or build a big enough CS lead over you. So, as Garen, you mainly just don't want to die to Akali and you'll primarily outscale her. So right now, Kha'Zix wants to start blue, so we're going to be leashing him blue. And so we just wait here. And for the runes, I took Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity for the attack speed, and Coupe de Gras. Now, I could have gone Tenacity, and I probably should have gone Tenacity. But, I don't know. I just wanted the attack speed. I was greedy. And then for my secondary runes, I decided to go Nullifying Orb because Akali does magic damage, and Celerity, because I get extra movement speed on my Q when I use it. Okay, and then I went two Adaptives and a Magic Resist. Okay, so right off the bat, I trade with Akali. We trade Q for Q. And this is fine. So I want to trade with her again, and back off. This is okay, because I have Doran Shield, so I can do this. And every time I every time I can attack her, I'm going to attack her. And then I want to drop minion aggro in the bush. Like I level two first, and I'm looking for a trade right here. I'm waiting to bait out her Q, and then go in. But she's not not doing it. And then there she goes. And then I go in. This is a bad trade because I didn't fully utilize my E correctly. I should just eat away. So she eat my E. And so I'm playing really aggressive. I didn't see Sejuani go from blue to red. I thought she was going to full clear. So I'm just trying to make something out of it. And I get a kill out of it. So now I'm just, I'm just trying to run away at this point. That's all I'm running. I'm running. I, it's such a and then uh, yeah, I, I die. I mean, that's my bad for playing really aggressive and just dying really stupidly like that. I didn't have a ward down either. So I guess in hindsight, I could have warded early if I was going to be playing this aggressive. I could have wore a try. Okay, so well, we're coming to lane. This isn't too bad. We have boots. That's good. I'm looking. Mid looks fine. That's great. Get a kill on Zed. That's great. So right now, where I'm going to place, I'm going to pink, pink the bush. And now I'm just going to play... A little defensively because there's a wave coming into me and I'll still try to look for trades whenever they benefit me like right here do that use my shield back off I'm on cooldown so I cannot trade anymore and right there I just stepped too far she should not be getting free damage on me right now I'm just won't just want to let the wave push into me. 
This is fine. Try to bait out her Q so she attacks the minion wave and pushes it faster into me. That's what I'm trying to do right now. She's just last hitting, which is the correct thing to do right now. This way it ensures that I lose the most minions. Okay, and then right here I'm just trying to last hit without being poked out too hard. And because I took Ignite instead of TP, I do not want to get poked out of lane. So Kali's doing a very good job at trying to poke me under tower. Okay. So she's clearing my ward. That's fine. I'm just trying to heal up. Use my passive on Garen. Which is if you don't take damage. When you're out of combat you start to re-heal more health. Right there, that was a great trade for me. Okay, so now we're just gonna push this wave in. And we're gonna try to bait her in so we can kill her, because we have Ignite, Ignite's up. So ulti comes up, we just alter. She missteps. She pushes up a little too far in her shroud, gets ulted. I don't think she was expecting me to hit level six. Okay, uh, also another thing, I'm resetting right now for tempo advantage instead of taking down a turret plate. Because I can always come back and get that turret plate. It's not a big deal. But I want to be back in lane where I'm in, where my minion wave is in, is in an, advan an advantageous spot. Oh, that was hard to say. It's to where the minion wave is. I can like control it better. And so if I stay for plates, that gives a Kali time to get back to lane fast and then just shove the wave and now I start missing minions. And that's not worth it because I don't have to miss any. So right here, a Kali wants to slow push the wave. And that's okay. And we're gonna try to trade with her. Same thing as before, but we're stronger now because we have Phage. We just play a little cautiously. And then when, whenever she steps up too far, just attack her. Now her shroud's down, which is good because Kha'Zix wants to, Kha'Zix wants to gank. And my Q didn't reach, so I just used my E to get some damage off. Okay, so the great thing about Garen's Q is it silences your opponent. So when I flash Q, if they don't flash the flash, they instantly get silenced and they, they are not allowed to flash or use any of their abilities. So that's why Akali's flash was delayed, because she was trying to flash after I already silenced her with my Q. Okay, so see how we get the tower plate? Immediately back off. There's no point in staying trying to whittle down the tower. Okay, so I pick up Mercs, because they their team comp has a lot of CC with Brand, Sejuani, and Jin's root on his W. Enemy killing spree. And then I see Zed on a killing spree, which is not good at all. And he doesn't have his W, so I go into attack. I still have my ultimate. And he flashes over the wall, so that's fine. Zed without flash is pretty big. That makes them a little more easy to gank. Or susceptible, rather. So right here, I'm just trying to 
push the wave right now. It's because I want more tower plates. And I am stronger than her right now. Okay, and then get some vision down. You see that she pinked the tri bush. Okay, so I go back. I'm gonna kill the pink. But she's still here. Uses her shroud. Okay. And then I say, that's fine. If, if you want to kill the ward, that's okay. I know Sejuani is in the, the bot river right now, so I'm not scared of a gank. And now I can just push the wave up. So those trades that Akali was doing benefited me just because she was trying to defend her ward. Okay, you just want to try to sidestep the Q whenever possible. Trade a little bit. Use your W. And we get a sweet gank from Lissandra. Which is fantastic. Okay, I see. And now we can stay for a play. And I saw that Lissandra didn't back, so I was like, we can kill him, we can kill him. So I ping. She's not moving, so I figured if I initiate, she would go in. In a better world, she would have gone in and ulted him. But this is solo queue. But I see this. I see such one. I see a Kali approach from the bot. And I'm just like, that's sad. This is sad. And now I'm missing a huge wave. So if we handled that dive top better, absolutely I would not be missing this wave. Lissandra wouldn't have died. It would have been better. This is great for Akali. Right now, she just wants to take this golden back. There's no point in staying. Because right now, I'm just trying to force her to stay. Because she's sitting on a lot of gold. She's, she's sitting on shutdown gold. And... Uh, tower gold. Okay. I just want to force her out. I want to confirm that she's recalling and then hard shove the wave. And if she stays, I can potentially kill her. And if she backs, which she did, I can now take more tower plates. So it's like a lose-lose for Akali. And this is just because she greeted for that one tower plate. She misses minions and gold. We just hard shove again. Because we want to get this first tower. Okay, she's really low. We can dive her. There we go. Beautiful. I had flash too if I needed. But she walked back into me. So I could just easily just combo her and she's dead. She took a terrible trade on the tower. And then I greed. I didn't see Zed missing. I die. That is not good. However, this game, I'm going with the Garen build, which is Triforce into Phantom Dancer. Which is the really more aggressive build, rather than going like Black Cleaver or Triforce into uh, Starex or Dead Man's. So I want more damage because I'm fed. And I'm going to... I think Kha'Zix shouldn't be there. But whatever. So I saw Zed use Flash. 
Okay, so if you're Zed, you want to back off right now? Okay, I mean, this is fine. But... So he, since he greeted for that wave, I know he's backing. I confirm it. He's back in the bush. And now he's dead. Because I have flash, he doesn't. I ignite him. Just to make sure he dies faster. Doesn't pull any tricks. Now we're good. And then right now, I do this all the time. If I'm ahead... Because uh, I, I realize the is just going to catch the top wave. So I might as well take jungle camps while I'm up here. Right. I'm not going to immediately go take the tower. Because it's full health. So I might as well just deny Sejuani camps. And get gold in the process. Okay, and this is a great spot to stay. Many people don't ward this, so you just wait here. See if your opponent comes out. And Akali comes out. Wait a little bit. And I just chase her down. So in case you don't know, Garen's spin can actually crit, and that's what makes that's what makes this build so brutal. Because you get the Triforce damage plus the crit on the spins. Okay, so right now I'm really fed, so I'm just roaming in the jungle. No one can kill me. And I back off. Because Zed was moving up, but then he stopped. But I'm not scared of Sejuani. I'm really not scared of anyone except for the Zed. Because there's a possibility he could uh, one-shot me. Oh, also to note. Our Lissandra should, in theory, destroy Zed. But she had a rough early game. And was blaming our jungler. And if that's the case, right? If the jungler feeds your laner as Lissandra into Zed, you want to go armor. Like you want to build Seeker's Arm Guard. It gives you armor and ability power. It helps you stay safer from Zed. Even though Lissandra should already be safe from Zed. And she should also go Aftershock, but she went Electrocute. She tried to go damage on Zed, which I don't think is the smartest idea, but... That's fine. Because okay, so right now I'm just trying to help the team get mid tower. Trying to force Zed away. Because he's scared of me, I could really mess him up. Okay, I see the team by River. And instead of joining them, I should I should have joined them, but I didn't. I didn't want to join them because I didn't know if we were gonna get anything done. So I just wanted to go top, stop Akali from taking tower, and maybe get a kill in the process. Chase Akali. I can see her outline from the damage she takes. I ignite her because she's out of my alt range and she flashes and dies. However, we loot we do lose dragon off this. The hindsight's always 2020. I should have grouped with the team. We would have lost top tower, but we could have got mountain. However, I don't trust my teammates. So that's why I went top. Because I know for a fact I could get a kill on a Kali. Okay, so now since I finished Phantom Dancer, I am going into Dead Man's Plate which is great for armor and health, which will counteract Zed and his lethality. So right now I'm calling in Rift. I'm hoping bot lane, their bot lane will rotate to mid, and this way we can take their bot lane tower, which is really low. So that's the goal right now. Right, I'm, I'm just trying to poke. So Lissandra Lys roots him, ults him, 
So I'm just trying to stall for Shelly. Do some damage. And then I look bot, and I see our misfortune. Alistar did not get the bot tower. So it's like it's a waste of a Rift Herald, because we didn't get anything out of it. So I decided instead of staying here, I might as well go bot. So that's what I do. I start heading bot, because it's useless to just stay mid. I mean, I know this is NA, and I know we love to group mid for some reason, but that is not the play. The sea control ward, I'm killing it. I see Jin. He's moving down. He's got no one around him. So I just hunt him down. I get a lucky crit. A flash on him. Then he's just dead. Okay, I see Sejuani roaming towards me. And I just get away. There's no way she could have killed me. There's not enough damage between her and Brand. Okay, so right now I'm just farming. I'm trying to push bot tower, get that. Get some gold for our team. And myself included. And as Garen, you primarily want to split. He's not a true tank. And what well, he, he does really well in skirmishes where it's like a 2v2 or a 3v3. But in full-blown team fights, it is harder for him to group. So that's why I'm just splitting with Garen because no one can match me on a 1v1. Or even a 1v2. But right now, I see Jin. I stay in the bush to make sure he stayed. And he did. Then you just run him down lane. See, as Jin, he cannot be pushed up that far because of the fact that he's got no vision. So he doesn't know... Like, the, the whole, it's a whole fog of war for him. So right now I'm just splitting again. I see two of them are dead. Sejuani's mid. So this is fine. I can keep splitting. Take a couple tower shots. Feels bad. So I'm just thinking this is a free tower. All right, and then after this, I have a lot of gold right now. I'm sitting on 3k. So I'm just going to back, finish my dead man's plate. I'm building that because it gives me armor against the Jin, and I get move speed, so it's, harder to outrun, so it's harder to outrun me. And I'm deciding whether I want to go crit, or if I want to go more tankiness, and I decided I'm just going to go Sterex for the extra health and shield. So I build Jarm's Fist. Alright, so I see dragons coming up. I pinged it. I'll let my team know. And like you'll see you'll see why I'm not a fan of grouping. But right here I see Sejuani. She's getting cut off. I thought we could try to kill her, but she is really tanky. Just leaps over the wall. None of that. And so I see the team behind me and I'm like, okay, I can go for the gen, right? But uh, I just get kited to oblivion. One of my teammates is already dead from Zed. Misfortune based. I wasn't aware. I was totally tu tunnel vision. So right here, I'm just, I don't know what to do. Then I just get demolished. And uh, this, this is why I don't like group fighting. Nikola gets a triple just like that. Picked up so much gold. And they get Drake. Right? So even though it wasn't a team fight, this is kind of what happens when you team fight. No one's ever on the same page. And it's usually one, like one person goes in, then another. Or two people go in, etc. This is why it's more reliable to split in lower elos, is what I found. Because you can't rely on your team as much. But you can rely on yourself. And so I'm just going to go right back to splitting.
Okay, and... Still at this point, I'm really fed. So no one can match me on the 1v1 or even 1v2. I just need my team to also be in position to pose a threat and uh, let me take towers. While at the same time not letting them collapse on me without me knowing. So, clear out vision if they have some. I'm hoping they are uh, by Baron right now. And I see Sejuani, then I see Zed. However, I see Jin in the jungle. And I'm like, he's not with his team. So he's going to go group with them, right? But then I see Brand over here. And I'm just like, wait, they want the team fight without Jin or Brand. So, of course, my team wants to FF. And I'm like, just chill. Just let me split. We can win. So honestly, the enemy team should have gone for uh, Baron. Right? Because they're going to get, what, one more tower? And that's it? Okay, so they, I saw they pushed mid. So right now I'm running from, so, I'm running from Sejuani. And I see a Kali. So I'm going for her. Jin hits me. He runs away. Okay, that's fine. I'm still going for a Kali. Right? She overstayed. I flash. Ult. She's got Zonias. She dies anyways. Now I can chase down Brand. Okay, he flashes. We take that. Alright. And this is what we do. We take out the jungle. Right? And we took out another person. It's a free Baron. Right? Easy. My team wanted to push mid. That's the incorrect call. We With Baron, we can get so much more than that. Okay, so I don't know what Alistar is doing. I know what he's thinking. Him and Lissandra, if you see them on the map, they're trying to stall them away. But what if someone comes from the top? That's what I'm thinking. So we're taking this. Could be taken a lot faster. And then a Kali comes. Like, if a Kali came sooner, she could have taken out the Kha'Zix. And forced like a 50-50 on the Baron. See, however, however, if Alistar was in the pit with... If Alistar was in the pit with us, he could have like... Just head butted a Kali right out. Okay, so we get Baron. And now we can push lanes once again. Except it's a lot easier. Alistar wants to group mid. Then I was just checking there for Zed to see if he uh, was taking like a greedy recall. Okay, so right now, just push bot is what I'm thinking. They push mid. Uh, that's warded, because the minion followed me in the bush. And I see on the map, like we can cut him off. I have no idea why they were in our jungle. Right here, focus at Juani. Dude, it does Garen's ult does so much damage. Especially not especially on um people that stack a lot of health, like said like Sejuani. And that's just because of the way his ult works. He does a certain amount of true damage and then Ooh, that crit does a certain amount of true damage and then he does uh missing health. So the lower health you are, the more damage it does. I'm trying to chase Jin. He's got Storm Razor, so that's not happening. So, I see Alistar get Zed. He already used his Living Shadow. Face him down, and he's dead. Now we can just get him mid. Okay, so my team wanted to go mid and try to end the game. And in hindsight, yeah, I think that's the play, but. 
I wanted to be sure to get the free win, right? I'm just taking top tower. Like, I still have Baron buff. Like, if I grouped with my team there and we died, like, that's just... It's not worth my opinion. So why go top? Well, this is why I go top. It's a free top tower. Right? More supers they have to deal with. Okay, we get the brand after I ran into his stun. He's down Jin. I ulted him way too early. I thought the Zed was going to do a little more damage to me, so I was scared. And this is a GG. Just padding stats at this point. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. The second one, Bronze to Diamond. And this is Sapphire. And I'll see you in the next one.